Hey everyone, we're back here in Bali and we're gonna talk about defending the triangle. The triangle is a position a lot of people will get stuck in. I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite escapes and a couple of submission options and counters we can do from there once we get around the person's legs. So if you like what you see, make sure to like and subscribe. Now go train. All right, so we've been looking at the long step pass. I wanna give you guys some better uh, Give you guys a couple ideas of how I like to finish once I hit this guard pass. I'm going to just give you guys a really simple option. It's one of my favorite chokes. So again, uh, I'm looking for that long step pass. I'm not going to go into too much detail about this. We just want to start move, relax. But we just want to start moving into the position, or we can hit that pass. Okay. Now look, when I land, there's a couple different hand positions I can have. I can either keep my hand uh, under his head. I could bring it over to the other side. Both of these are good for for controlling the upper body. What's going to help me set my submission is my right hand. Okay, so I'm going to go from blocking his hip and I'm going to reach in front of my own body and come up underneath and grab four fingers in on the lapel. Now, a lot of people ask me how you keep your partner pinned when you're looking for this. And I do it with my shoulder. Okay, so I want you guys to think about keeping your shoulder heavy on your partner here to keep him pinned to give you that freedom to reach that arm through. Now, look, my left hand's going to go thumb inside on the collar. I'm gonna drop and sprawl towards the mat. My left elbow touches the ground and I'm gonna flare my elbow open to finish that choke. So look, as we came out of that pass, we landed in side control. Okay, from that side control position, my right hand is reaching in front. I'm balancing on my shoulders so I can reach in nice and deep and grab the collar. Now look, my left hand is gonna come thumb inside on the collar. Once I have that good grip, I can drop down, putting my elbow to the mat. Now watch, I'm going to smear my elbow up towards his head to get the leverage I need to finish that choke. So if you guys want a nice submission option off this pass, think about getting that near side underhook and going for the paper cutter choke. Okay, so again, maybe I'm on the outside here, I'm looking to pass, I come in, head off ground, I come in, I sprawl, thumb inside, and I flare the elbow to finish. Okay? Let's give that one a shot. Let's try it. One, two. 